What's good, peeps? I feel like I haven't made a video in a minute. And it's probably only been like a couple days, but it feels like a long time. Which means that uh, I clearly missed y'all, missed making my videos, but uh, been kind of crazy here. Um, Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered checking in. Today is Wednesday. See, I'm losing track for real. There's just so much going on. Um, boys start school tomorrow. So that should be interesting. It's all virtual learning. Um, at least that's what we chose. We had the choice, but they're going, they're doing just virtual for now and then we'll reassess it in November. But anywho, um, enough with that. Um, yeah, it's been kind of just funkity funk around here. Just, I don't know. My mood's been off. I think it's just all this shit's finally getting to me in terms of, you know, that it's not really going in, away anytime soon, you know? Um, I feel like we, we kind of fool ourselves into thinking like, oh yeah, you know, it's going to get better. Just, just two shall pass, which, you know, most of the times, um, it does, but I feel like with this COVID shit, it's not getting any better anytime soon, peeps. Um, I don't know where y'all are at in terms of, you know, where you live, but I'm in Chicago and, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel anytime soon. Um, I got family who has it, COVID, and, um, you know, you, you kind of always, you don't really take it sh shit seriously until it, uh, until someone you know is affected, you know what I'm saying? And that, I think, goes with a lot of things, be it COVID, cancer, you know, addiction, I think you know, we tend to kind of, I don't know, maybe downplay it is a good word, but I think we tend to like downplay things, um, or maybe are perhaps kind of na naive about things until they actually hit home. And then when they do, it's like, wow, I see what the hype is all about. Right. You know, I know that there, I found myself at certain times like, fuck this you know, wearing a mask shit. I'm like, yeah, if I'm mandated to wear a mask and I have to go into the store and wear a mask, of course I'm going to wear a mask. You know, I'm going to abide by the rules. I, t I tend to be a rule follower. But, you know, I used to, you know, kind of clown people in a way and be like, oh, you know, why are you wearing a mask when you're walking down the street and, you know, you're outside in the fresh air and you ain't really around anybody, which to some extent I still do believe that. Like, I, I believe a certain times call for certain measures and I feel like if you're out in in the public place and, and you're required to wear a mask you should by all means wear the mask but you know I, for the most part I think that if you're you know outside and you're not in close proximity with people that you should you know maybe refrain from the mask because shit you're not really affecting anyone you're breathing into the air um, and you know let's be honest it's not really ideal to wear a mask, so any chance you can get from, you know, not wearing one is is a chance you should, you know, take advantage of and keep the mask off. But with that said, like I was saying, now that I have family members affected with it, I can kind of appreciate the abundance of caution. Like maybe some of these people that do walk around outside with their masks on, maybe they are like pretty aware of the fact that it's kind of you know, maybe not 100% necessary in certain circumstances when they're not around anyone. But I'm inclined to think that because they've been so, you know, closely impacted, um, knowing someone or having a family member have it, or maybe perhaps, you know, themselves, that they tend to take it more seriously. So I guess the whole point of this, you know, little rant of mine or vent is that, you know, um, I think that sometimes we tend to not really 
um, take shit seriously until it hits home. And then when it does, it's like, wow, I, I, I can appreciate where other people are coming from in terms of the caution and, you know, being overly cautious versus being kind of blasé about things and being like, oh, whatever. You know, I went to a, a wake the other day. I, if y'all peep my live stream, oh, dear friend of mine passed away. Have to say 160 days today. Whoop, whoop. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no pills, no weed. Yeah. But um, and day seven, no coffee. But a friend of mine passed away. And, of course, I was going to go to the um, to the service. Now, when I found out that I had a couple family members who tested positive for COVID, I took it upon myself to go get tested, even though I hadn't been around them. Um, I took it upon myself to go get tested, and it came back negative, and that's the only reason I went to the service. Otherwise, had I not gotten the results before I went, um, I wouldn't have felt comfortable as much as it would have killed me not to go. I wouldn't have felt comfortable going, not knowing if maybe I had it and I was possibly spreading it to others and infecting others. So long story short, I did go to this um, service because I knew that I was negative. And when I went there, I could not believe how many people did not have masks on. Now, it's one thing, like when we pulled up, there were a lot of people gathered outside and they didn't have masks on, which I was still like, wow, you're outside, but here we are like in very close proximity. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're by your lonesome, I get it. But they were all like talking real close to each other, huddled in groups with no masks on. So I'm like, hmm, that's kind of not cool. But um, then we, par we parked, we went inside and there was still hella people with no masks on. I'm like, why would you go to a gathering like that? I mean, let's be honest, a lot of places up until recently, you could, you didn't even have the option to have these types of services. It's as it is when someone passes away, earlier on during the beginning of this pandemic, a lot of people couldn't even have these services um, because, you know, there was no gatherings of any sort. Now, mind you, you're only allowed a certain amount of people at one time, but still, like, why wouldn't you wear a mask? I just don't understand. I mean, I say, like, pay now, play later, you know? Like, if you have to wear a mask, even if you're inconvenienced by it, or you feel like it's not your right, wear the fucking mask. And, God willing, everything can return to normal sooner. But, like, to have this attitude of, oh, I'm not going to wear a mask. What am I going to wear a mask for? Like... Okay, if you don't want to protect yourself, guess what? A mask is to protect other people, too. So, I feel like the sooner we buckle down and put the damn mask on and abide by the rules, then maybe we have a chance in hell of stuff getting back to normal slowly but surely. But, like, when I was in there seeing this, all these people with no masks on, I was just like... Damn, we ain't ever going to get back to like some any type of normal because there's always going to be people out there that think that they're like entitled and that they don't have to abide by the rules for the, you know, the better of everybody. Even if you don't agree with it, wear the mask. So in hopes that if everyone follows the rules and we all wear the masks that, like I said, the shit will go away sooner rather than later. Or if not go away, we'll have a vaccine. But the more people, the, the more people that um, continue to kind of try to slide by and not follow the rules, um, the more we are going to regress in terms of, you know, uh, the country, and we're going to need to go back on quarantine lockdown like and I, I it's like those very same people that sit there and bitch that they're having you know their rights taken away or you know whatever it is for whatever the reason is I've heard so many reasons for people not wanting to wear masks or not abide by the rules or not you know go to 
certain places um, because there's crowds, whatever it is, like the longer we continue to think that we're like better than the rules and we don't follow them, the longer we are going to find our find ourselves in this predicament. And I feel like those, those very same people that bitch and complain about not having any um, normalcy, not being able to gather, not being able to, you know, go inside certain places, the people that bitch about all the tolls that have, you know, this thing, this COVID has taken on us, those are the very same people that are prolonging it. That's what I find, like, ironic is the people that bitch the most about, you know, schools not being open, you know, for indefinite in-person learning and, you know, whatever it is, whatever things we can't no longer do as a society, the people that bitch about it are the ones that contribute to it the most because they don't follow the freaking rules. And that, to me, is, like, maddening. It's like, just buckle down and... Do what you need to do to protect you and, and everyone else around you. And hopefully we'll get back to some type of normal. So, like I said, you know, I can appreciate the fact of maybe people not taking the masks as seriously when they don't have someone that's affected by it or that they know that's gotten it. But now that I have a few family members that currently have it as I'm speaking... And I have talked to them on the phone and heard them and, and, and got to listen to what they are currently experiencing. I have to say that I think it's pretty selfish of people to, you know, not follow the rules. And I can see and appreciate why there's so much caution and so many rules in place because I have family members that have it. So may you never have to experience that. Maybe you never know anyone that has it. May you never get it. But just do what you got to do, people. Wear the fucking mask if that's what it takes, okay? Okay. Like, I don't understand what the argument is about wearing the mask. I, I really don't. I mean, it's there to protect you and to protect those around you. And the sooner we can stop this shit from spreading, the better. So, I would just stop trying to maybe take it personally and think that, like, your rights are being, being inflicted upon and maybe just... You know, do it for the good of, of everyone. It's not hurting you. Just suck it up and do it. That's all I really have to say today. But it was nice to check in with you peeps. 160 days today. Woo -woo. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no pills, no weed. Seven days, no coffee. And I'm feeling fabulous. Got those, uh, that little attitude and that funk sometimes, but living in this current Twilight Zone apocalypse, how could you not, you know? So stay well, peeps. Stay safe. Like I said, I know some people don't take it seriously, but maybe you will if uh, you know people that are close to you that are greatly affected by it. And I hope you never have to know, but I hope you can just get smart and start, you know, doing what's being asked of you in terms of wearing a mask and following whatever rules are being, you know, set. That's it. Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered. Please like this video. Please feel free to share it. And make sure you click that um, bell icon in the upper right-hand corner. Press all so that way you get all the notifications when I go live and make my videos. And if you have not subscribed, please do. Jenny Raw Real Unfiltered. Stay up, peeps. Stay well. Love.